Welcome one and all, I'm Decoy. And we're just gonna try something weird today. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but I am fairly hopeful that we'll get something. So, well, it is a little taped up. We've got some Tannerite right here. And then behind it, we've got multiple bags full of paint. And then of course, back behind it, we've got several canvases put up. So with any luck, hopefully this will blow up and send paint into all of these lovely canvases. So our, really the only thing we can do is test it out. So let's get to it. You're just going to walk through this with me. I can see the orange paint just kind of out that direction. Oh my gosh, the board I had on the inside supporting just blew in half. Freaking awesome. And of course, we got it's probably red paint over here. Blue splattered all over the place. Look at this. This is freaking beautiful. Look at that. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Um, the one I was worried about with its placement uh, was definitely justified because <laughs> it has a gnarly hole through it. But even still, it's it's kind of beautiful. I don't know. Oh. Oh my gosh, look at this one. That is just, and it's got a hole ripped through it over here. This one is just caked. And then of course we come around to this one. This one's just kind of beautiful. You got all the red splatter on here, the green splatter, like, yeah. Suck it, Picasso. You ain't got nothing on explosives. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, even this this board over here, looking pretty freaking cool, especially up there. I really like the top. And oh, dude, look at all the paint on the inside of this. Holy crap! <laughs> uh, well. I tell you what, we're gonna let these things dry off and then uh, we'll take them inside and, and take a little bit of a closer look at them. See you there. All right, so it's it's been a couple days since I did my ballistic art, trying to get paint time to dry. So let's check out the first one. First up, got this one. Of course, you can see the, the hole up here. But, oh, man, the, this one by far got the most paint out of all of them. Of course, we end up with some splatter on the sides, a little bit on the bottom. Definitely got a nice bit of spray here. And then a, a, a nice portion went on top. Yeah, this is... This is pretty darn cool. 
Now I will say, um, when when I set out to do this, I told my buddy that helps me out with recording all this kind of stuff that he could have his pick of one of the canvases that we used, and this is the one he picked. So let's let's move on to the next one. All right, check this thing out. Got a little splatter here. Got some side action going on. This side's relatively clean. And then just a little light dusting up top from the looks of it. Oh, now this one, if you were paying attention during the high speed, the reason this one ended up with the hole in it is because a large piece of shrapnel came in, stabbed this one, and then drove it into the ground. And uh, I, I'm pretty much torn between two of them as to which one I really want to keep. And I think I'm going to end up going with this one. Just because. I mean, out of all of them, it's the only one that took massive damage. But I love this thing. And it's got like a nice spray all over it. I don't know about any of you, but I totally see a face in this. Mind you, it's a sad face. Probably because it got stabbed with shrapnel. But, uh, I don't know. I just feel like this one has a lot of character. There's a story to be told with this. Alright, our next one. Oh, and this one's pretty freaking cool, too. It's got that nice spray of just... All the different colors of paint from the look of it. I really love, like, the blue and green swirls. <laughs> it's something else kind of cool. Right here. That is a piece of wood, like shrapnel, that has gotten stuck. So that's freaking cool. Also, I can, I can totally see something right here. I don't want to give it away, but it's pretty cool. And then, I'm just going to turn this a little bit. There's like a little purple thing right there. I mean, it's probably going to end up coming off, but I think that's a piece of the, the purple paint bag. Oh yeah, and as for side spray, you got a little bit on the bottom. A whole lot all down the side. Like... A massive abundance on the top. And then not much anything going on on this side. I'm going to sit this right here. Let's grab the next one. Oh, look at this thing. So this is the other one that I, I was torn between, like, which one was my favorite. Because I really dig this one. I love... I'm going to just sit it down. I love all the red spray here, and it's kind of broken up by the green spray going that way. And then, in the middle of this one, right there, is yet another little piece of wood shrapnel that has become married to the canvas. But this thing just looks freaking awesome. On so many levels. Uh, we don't have much of anything going on on the bottom. Looks like we got a decent little bit of mixed spray going down the side. Got a nice assortment of spray on the top. And then this side is relatively clean. Let's bring this one back in. All right, so here's the deal. My buddy's keeping one. I'm going to keep the one that has the hole in it. These two, I'm going to put up on eBay. And if you want one, you can totally have a chance at getting one. They're just so freaking cool, I want to share them. So... I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to do 
say like a one week auction on this one and I'll set this one up assuming it'll let me as like a two week auction that way if you miss out on this one you'll still have a chance at this awesome one because these are just oh they're freaking cool I, I don't know that and you gotta imagine like you go hanging one of these on the wall sooner or later someone's gonna ask like what what's up with that and the story behind it <laughs> you'd be like hold, hold on let, let me show you what this is about and if if that's not a conversation starter i don't know what is because this is just, just beautiful <laughs> like i love these things so yeah I, i'm gonna throw both of them up on ebay realistically I, i'm probably gonna start them at like five ten bucks somewhere in there relatively inexpensive because honestly i don't know if anybody's gonna bid on these i hope they do and i really hope they go to a good home because they deserve it god this thing's so cool this one's cool and oh they're uh, anyways so my my hope here is that some loving person will pick them up and then i'll take some of that money to put back into continuing this because I really want to see if one I, I want to try with larger pieces of canvas down the road but I also want to see if there's a way that I can go about manipulating the spray pattern which I, I'm pretty sure I can do it and I've got some some ideas on how to go about doing it but oh gosh like I, I love everything about this this is probably my favorite thing that I've done thus far hands down getting to build through something destructive uh, so yeah anyways I, I don't want to waste any more of your time I'm gonna throw a link in the video description to both of these hopefully hopefully one of you will, will pick this up and appreciate it as much as I do because this is just the coolest thing but that's gonna wrap this one up I hope you've enjoyed it please remember to like sub and share later